So one question I get asked a lot is, what are Schroth exercises? We use the Schroth method to treat scoliosis, and so I thought I would show a few exercises that we do in the Schroth method. One thing to remember, these are not exercises I want you doing at home, or anyone doing at home until you've actually been evaluated. They're different for each curve, different for each type of scoliosis, and so this is just an example. Please don't take these and do them until you have talked to someone that knows what they're doing. So this is Paige. Paige is one of our awesome scoliosis patients. She agreed to come in and, and demonstrate a little bit about what she does. And uh, I want to introduce you to her scoliosis curve as well. So Paige, go ahead and stand up and turn around and face that way. So as we do exercises, it's important to know exactly where the scoliosis is. So Paige has scoliosis that comes, she has a little curve up top, and then she has a curve that goes here to the right, and then a curve that goes to the left. So we have her shoulder blade on the right side is pushed back a little bit because her ribs are pushed back up here. Down here, the spine is rotated and pushed back because of the rotation of the spine here. So we have two curves, we have a little bit of a shift in her pelvis, so you can see a little bit more of a waistline there than here. And can you bend forward just a little bit, Paige? So if she bends forward, you can see more of a prominence here because the ribs are pushed back. And here on the left side in the lumbar, we see a little bit of a prominence there too. So we have to take all of that in, into consideration. Go ahead and sit back up. I'll stand back up. This, we, this is a concave side of the curve, so that's going to be important as we do corrections to open that up, and then this is her other concavity in the spine. So that's Paige and Paige's curve, and let's show a sitting exercise. Okay, so here we have Paige in a sitting position, and I have a strap on her knee. We're going to use that in a little bit but she's sitting in front of these bars we call stall bars just to help with with the corrections so i'm just going to go through the exercise explain a little bit about what we're doing so Paige, put your arms up on the bars so she puts her arms uneven because she has a, a concavity up here in, in the thoracic spine so the first thing we do is we want to get the pelvis corrected and Paige, re relax like you don't know what we're doing there we go so the first thing we do is we get the bottom block, which is the pelvis, in a good position before we try to stack any building blocks on top. So we have her lift her tail a little bit, and we have her shift over to the right just a little bit so that her trunk is centered directly over her pelvis. So then we're going to start with elongating the spine. So if we have an S curve like Paige's, and we grab both ends of the S and we pull, that S straightens out. So that's the first thing that we do, is we try to elongate the spine. So Paige, I want you to bring your lower ribs away from your pelvis, getting taller, expanding and opening. And then we focus on the concavities, really trying to create room and expanding those concavities. Push out of the elbows, this one a little more, as we're expanding and opening. So Paige does awesome with this. She's already starting to correct a little bit. But we're trying to create room. We're using breathing, nice deep breaths to try and expand the concavities, create room so we can do some corrections. Controlling the shoulders and the shoulder blades and staying tall. Then we start focusing on one concavity, opening outward, backward, and upward. And then we take the prominence and we push it forward and inward. Good, and we come backward on the front ribs and outward. Good, so we can already see that prominence going down, keeping the shoulder blade back, pushing out at the elbow, keeping all of that, put your hand on the pole, and pushing inward, forward, backward, and outward, expanding and opening keeping the trunk over the pelvis, adding tension inward, forward on the prominence in the lumbar, opening outward and backward on the concavity, maintaining tension inward. Perfect, Paige, that looks great. 
back here on the left to bring this concavity backwards, keeping this forward. Good, hold that. Perfect, push out here. Now I'm gonna have her push up into that strap, which then contracts the muscles in her concavity, pulling her spine to the right. Good, keep that push, keep expanding into the lumbar concavity. Don't lose the thoracic concavity, good. Tension in and forward. Keep breathing deep. Keep pushing out at the elbows. And relax. So Paige is a rock star at this. It's not as easy as this okay. looks. Okay, we're gonna talk about sideline corrections. Uh, this is a, a common position that we use in scoliosis treatment. And it looks kind of funny because you're on a leash right here. A lot of kids have uh, some reservations when I have them do this because they're on a leash, but there's purpose for every piece of equipment that we have here. So let's describe them a little bit. So the first is the leash and the belt. So that's to anchor the pelvis down so that when we elongate off of the pelvis, it, we don't work our way across the floor. So that's why this is here. We have pads here for different places because of the specific type of curve that she has. And then we have the rice bag up at her hand to remind her where to put her hand. The pole in front of her is used to relax, well not totally relax, but put the arm up on. And then the stool is keeping that up. Uh, the yoga mats for comfort and the mirror is so she can have some feedback. So it looks complicated, but everything has kind of a purpose to why we're using it. So let's just go through how we do corrections. So with this correction, because of where Paige's curve is, we have this pad under her lumbar prominence. That's pushing her inward. So we start corrections always at the pelvis. We wanna make sure that the pelvis, which is the foundation of the spine, is in a good position. So we keep the hips on top of each other. That's our pelvis correction. Then we elongate the spine. I'm gonna have Paige put her hand up on the pole and she's going to push up with the elbow to get her shoulder blade stable in a good position as well. Then we elongate and we expand. So we're trying to expand her concavities, which are down in the low back on the right side and on the left side in the thoracic. We push up with the elbow to traction the shoulder and we're expanding and we're opening in this position. And I want you to reach with this arm reaching that way to expand the concavity in the thoracic spine. So we're opening and expanding. Then we start to add some tensions going forward and inward on the thoracic prominence, backward and outward on the thoracic concavity. That looks perfect. Good. Inward and forward on the lumbar prominence. Excellent and inward taking pressure off of that pad. So now that pad doesn't have any pressure on it. We open the concavity on the lumbar curve, excellent. And we go backward, outward, upward with everything. Shoulder blade stays stable, tractioning the shoulder. So one thing we do in this position is I have them lift their legs, so Paige lift that leg barely off the stool, which contracts the muscles in the concavity and pulls the spine to the right. So as you can see from the exercises that I had Paige do, uh, these aren't simple exercises. They take a lot of uh, training, they take a lot of instruction, and please don't do these exercises at home. These are very specific to the, the curve that we're treating. So your curve may be, well, and is, different than any other curve out there. So it needs to be evaluated before you do these. Thanks for watching.